Allahu Akbar. Welcome back to History Scope Stories. Sultan Mehmed III, also known as Mehmed the Sipahi, or Mehmed the Pious, was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1595 to 1603. Here is some information about his life, heirs, and wives. Mehmed was born on May 26, 1566, and he was the son of Sultan Murad III and Safiye Sultan, who was of Venetian origin. He ascended to the throne at the age of 21 after his father's death in 1595. His reign was relatively short, but it was marked by important events. One of the most significant events during Mehmed III's reign was the conquest of the city of Eger in Hungary in 1596, which expanded Ottoman territory in Europe. He also had to deal with various internal and external challenges during his rule. Fehmed III had several sons who could potentially succeed him as Sultan. His eldest son, Ahmed I, eventually succeeded him to the throne in 1603 after Mehmed's death. Ahmed Thurton's reign marked the beginning of the Sultanate of Women, where powerful women in the imperial harem played a significant role in the empire's politics and succession. Fehmet III had multiple wives, as was customary for Ottoman sultans. His chief consort was Safiye Sultan, who was his mother's handmaiden before becoming his wife. Safiye Sultan held significant influence over her son's reign and continued to be influential during the reign of her son, Ahmed I. Mehmed III had other wives and concubines as well, but Safiye Sultan was the most prominent among them. In the Ottoman tradition, polygamy was common and sultans often had many wives and concubines. Mehmed III's reign is notable for the beginning of a period of decline in the Ottoman Empire, and it was during the reign of his successors, including Ahmed Burr, that the empire faced significant challenges and territorial losses. Mehmed III had several sons, and it's worth noting that the Ottoman succession system was based on a practice called agazade, or kafes. In this system, potential heirs, typically the sons of the reigning sultan, were kept secluded in the imperial harem under close supervision to prevent them from plotting against the reigning sultan. This system aimed to maintain stability and reduce the potential for succession conflicts. Ahmed reigned 1603-1617, was the eldest son of Mehmed III, and succeeded his father as the Sultan. His reign saw significant changes in the Ottoman Empire, including the emergence of the Sultanate of Women and the strengthening of the role of the mother of the reigning Sultan. Ahmed faced challenges, including conflicts with the Safavids and the Habsburgs. He also implemented some administrative reforms during his reign. Mustafa, reigned 1617, 1618, 1622, 1623, was the younger brother of Ahmed and briefly ruled as Sultan twice. His first reign was short-lived and he was deposed due to mental health issues. However, he was briefly reinstated as Sultan during a tumultuous period in the early 1620s before being deposed again. The Ottoman Empire's succession system often resulted in struggles for the throne among the potential heirs, leading to complex political intrigues and sometimes violent conflicts. The influence of powerful women in the imperial harem, known as the Sultanate of Women, played a significant role in determining which heir would ascend to the throne and how long they would remain in power. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing historical content. Thanks for joining us today at History Scope Stories. See you in the next video.